Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to give you an update on setting up a gas station at the airport. Now there used to be one at the airport but it no longer operates. And we're talking about the Norman Mandy International Airport. We're actually driving into the airport now and we're going to take a tour of the gas station that's there although it's closed down and then we're going to go through an article that gives more information on the setting up of a new gas station. Now the airport is under a concession, meaning the Jamaican government owns the airport, but a foreign company operates it. And the foreign company is trying to get, it's spending 140 million US dollars to upgrade the airport. And one of the things they want to do is put in a new gas station. So over here now is where the existing gas station is. And I assume this is where they'll put a new one because it's really hard to build the tanks on the ground, etc. So they stated they'd put a gas station on the roundabout, which I'm assuming it's right here. Okay, so this is the existing gas station. It no longer operates. All right, so we are now going to go through an article that gives more information on what they plan to do. Re a new gas station at the airport. PAC Kingston Airport Limited, the entity managing Norman Manley International Airport, is actively working to secure an operator to build and run a service station on the airport's grounds, which it envisions as a valuable, ad valuable addition to the ongoing US 140 million expansion and rehabilitation project. Packle's CEO shared that talks with a potential bidder are ongoing and, they, and that they are optimistic about finalizing an agreement after extensive discussions. The ID location identified for the service, the ID location identified for the station is the airport's roundabout, where it's, an, where, where it's anticipated to attract significant business. However, the project's greenfield nature, meaning it requires construction from the ground up poses financial challenges. The CEO state, the CEO explained that the remaining 20 year concession period could deter potential operators who may prefer a longer term commitment given the initial cost. Despite these obstacles, Packle aims to confirm an operator by the end of the year with hopes of announcing the new development as coming soon to Norman Manley International Airport. All right, guys, so that's the end of the update article. So let us know what you think. I think it's an excellent idea to put a gas station here because the closest gas station to the airport is in Harborview. There are two in Harborview. They don't have any gas stations in Port Royal. So with the airport operating 24 hours a day, it would be good to have a gas station here. And the gas station is good, but also a 24 hour food court or mini mart would be perfect for the airport. All right, guys, thanks for taking the tour. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And leave your comments in the section below. Let us know what you think. Have a good day.